Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. You can probably tell already what that experiment is. That's right, it's another observation experiment where we put a group of sims in a house and we just see how they get on. And today we are going to be mixing up all of the occults. Or all of the occults I could be bothered to find and put in one place anyway. And the reason why I've paused it is you might be able to tell all of these other sims already feel very tense just from being around Rory the werewolf. Vlad doesn't look too impressed, does he? So yeah, we have all of our sims here. I've actually built them a little bunker down here, which is where they're going to be spending their time. I try to give them, like, activities to do, to skill build. They've got a pumpkin carving station, a chess table. I got an organ for Vlad. Painting easel punching bag, they have their beds over here, a little coffin for Vladdy, a little kitchen over here, be interesting to see if they all make separate meals or if someone decides to serve group meals. That one always intrigues me whether they do that or not. And then they have a group bathroom with a little bath there and a couple showers. I put the bath there for Neilani because you know, she's a mermaid. So let's perhaps start by teleporting some sims here. Yeah, just as I teleported, they all just went, oh, tense from being around a werewolf. And she's tense from being around disgusting decor. Well, before we go any further, how about we just um, delete this door? There we go. So we're going to observe these occults for 24 hours. I know that werewolves and vampires are sworn enemies. They haven't interacted yet because they still have somewhat of a friendly relationship. So I guess we'll see if they'll start a supernatural smackdown. But before we actually start observing, I'll quickly introduce you to our cast. We have Morgan Ember. He is a spellcaster, previously the sage of, I want to say, untamed magic. We have Rory the Werewolf, pack leader of the Wild Fangs. Vladislaus Stroud, most powerful vampire and founder of Forgotten Hollow. Neilani the Mermaid. And Carly is just a random alien I found in my family bin. Nothing too special about her. Well, it's just about 11am on a Friday. We will see how they get on until 11am Saturday. Oh, we have some friendly introductions being made here between Morgan and Rory. Maybe spellcasters and werewolves can be friends. Or maybe not. Looks like Rory's having a go and Morgan doesn't really look too happy. Looks like they were having an argument there. And Vlad is doing what I would expect Vlad to do, playing the pipe organ. I might have to take that away if that's all he does. I mean, he is a loner and he's evil. Vlad already has shout forbidden words queued up, so that's great. Looks like everyone's just kind of getting to know each other. We've got some sims having a conversation here. This is about what I would expect from like a real life Big Brother house. You know, you put them in, people just start getting to know each other. Vlad, if you could maybe like turn that down a little bit. Oh, Neilani's just noticed there's a werewolf. That's right, Neilani, keep up. Well, it looks like aliens are completely nonplussed by werewolves. They're absolutely fine. Vlad's noticed a werewolf and he just keeps shaking his head. So everyone's kind of gathering around here having a little chat and Vlad is keeping himself to himself. Which I guess makes sense because he is a loner. But Vlad, maybe you could just come and at least introduce yourself. Maybe. You don't want to completely isolate yourself from everybody. Surely not. Where's he, where did he go? <laughs> you teleported yourself to the chess table to play chess by yourself. You know, maybe if you'd been a little bit friendlier, someone else would have came and joined you for chess. You know what, I'm actually going to delete that pipe organ because I forgot how fucking annoying it sounds. There we go. Wow, you guys really are getting pretty close. No thank you, welcome wagon. Are you guys just going to stand there or... I mean, there is stuff to do. Maybe someone would rustle up some food, maybe? Morgan, what is your problem? Why are you? Why have you got the face on? What's going on? What's your beef? I think Morgan is just really struggling because he's so tense from being around a werewolf. But all the other sims have kind of gotten over it. Let's do a quick mood check. Rory is absolutely fine. Neilani is happy. Vlad is inspired from playing music. Morgan is tense from being around a werewolf. And the alien is fine. She's taking some selfies in the bathroom. I'm really hoping... 
that we get some drama today. Like, I'm hoping maybe Vlad just gets thirsty and decides to feed off one of these sims. I hope maybe we end up with a supernatural smackdown. Oh, the alien is scared. Why are you so scared? What's wrong? What are they talking about from paranoid trait? Oh, it's a paranoid alien. And she's mean. Well, if she's mean, she's probably going to get on well with Vlad. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love how social you're all being. But maybe, I don't know, maybe we could start some shit. The alien's going to go hide under the bed because she's so scared. Because she's really paranoid that they're talking about her. I mean, you are literally in the same room. I'm sure you can overhear them talking. They were just talking about music, Carly. Don't worry. You don't need to cry. It's fine. It's fine. You could even join in the conversation. See? You're part of the gang now. Vlad's still hanging out on his own. I mean, it's been five hours since the experiment started. None of you have moved. Let me just make sure my autonomy's on full. Yeah, full autonomy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I get you guys are talking, but it's just not really that normal to be uh, talking for five hours. Oh, it looks like we've got someone going to the bathroom. Mind if I come with you, Morgan? I gave you guys a little pond so you could see. I did put some fish in there, but you can't really see them. Yeah, I'll just come in here with you. Sit in the bathroom still. These are quite nice, these stools, aren't they? Could do with some graffiti on the walls, though. Yeah. Go take a look in the mirror. You're doing great, buddy. You're doing great. Thanks for letting me come along for the ride. No one's carved any pumpkins yet. Oh, but could it be peace between vampire and spellcaster? Maybe the mutual rival of werewolf has brought these two unlikely uh, friends together. Rory's watching the game. Rory's pretty happy that there's an alien around, actually. Literally everyone is concerned about being around Rory, and she's just really happy to be there. You know what, Rory, don't you mind any of these other sims? So is, is no one hungry or anything? They, I mean, they are kind of hungry. Maybe someone should rustle up some lunch, some dinner at this point. Okay, I think we have someone making some food. Why are you scared now? What, you're still paranoid about what people are talking about? You need to get a grip, alien, seriously. That does look like it's going to be a single serving. Was it just me, or was there, like, a dolphin noise right then? I think that was Neilani. Huh. Werewolf and vampire playing chess together. Vlad doesn't look too happy about this. Oh, everyone's getting up to get food. Maybe the alien did... S Aw, the alien served food for everybody. Oh, well done, Carly. That was real nice of you. So maybe we can all sit together, have a friendly meal. Maybe try and eat a little bit more delicately there, Rory. I know you are literally an animal, but, um, you know, table manners. Oh, Vlad is feeling sick because he ate, um, he ate food. I forgot. Well, actually, no, Vlad, this wasn't my job. This was your job. You should have known not to eat food. Okay, I'm just going to leave you to it. Rory's cleaning up. Well, you know what? This has been fun, if not kind of, uh, boring. Not much has happened. I feel like it would be good to do something, you know, like with Love Island, where they, they let the contestants just play around for a bit and then they drop some kind of bombshell just to stir some shit. I'm thinking I'm going to carry on just observing them, but just to get the ball rolling with some tension, I might start a fight between Vlad and Rory because they're both quite powerful. So maybe we'll just get them to have a supernatural smackdown and then we'll observe the household after that takes place just to see if it makes things really awkward. <laughs> Vlad is literally hissing. He's like, okay, supernatural smackdown, let's go. In the middle of the bunker. Don't tell me you can't. Come on, guys, have a supernatural smackdown. I can move some things for you if that helps. Okay, they can't seem to have a supernatural smackdown inside the house so instead i'm going to take them outside we're going to take this to the streets we're going to have our smackdown and then we'll go back into the house okay yeah supernatural smackdown who's gonna win my money is on rory because i know vlad is a real powerful vampire but rory's muscly she's been working out so i guess we'll see i guess we'll see bats flying everywhere Vampire dust flailing everywhere. Oh yeah, it is going to be super awkward in this house. 
Oh, Rory did win. I was right. I was right. Okay, so now they should be... Yep, yeah, they despise each other. Even Vlad is in his vampire form. Oh, yeah, he is proper pissed off. All right, guys, let's get you back in the house before you start running wild. Okay, great. Looks like Rory's raging. And you guys just go back to being observed. We got a couple sleepers over here. Alien is sleeping. Morgan's sleeping. Looks like Neilani's turning in for the night. Where's Vlad? Taking a sh... Oh, throwing up again. Throwing up again. Okay, yeah. Well, you guys, you gonna kiss and make up? You gonna say sorry? No, I guess not. Rory's walking pretty funny. So I guess she's going to bed now. Vlad's embarrassed. He's really embarrassed from losing the supernatural smackdown. Oh, Vlad, don't blame yourself. Oh, it looks like he's gotten over it pretty quickly. Why don't you just go to bed? Why don't you just get some sleep? Thinking about it, this is probably Vlad's ideal outcome. Everyone else is in bed. He gets to spend the night awake by himself. He is a loner after all. Where are we going, Vlad? Are we going to throw up yet again? Oh no, we're cleaning the toilet. Okay. Oh, Morgan's awake and he's playing a cheeky bit of chess. On the bright side, I do think that the beef Vlad has with the werewolf has built some real rapport with the spellcaster. Actually, no, I take that back. They have a negative relationship. You're right there, Neilani? Just listening to Vlad beautifully sing Christmas songs. Or was it, I think he was singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Yeah. Something a bit creepy about that. What are we doing, Neilani? Oh, we're having a shower. Also singing in the shower. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Where are we going, Neilani? We're going to go flirt with Morgan. We got something queued up. Chat with Morgan. Oh, I think there's a bit of a crush. Could these two end up together? Is there tension? Vlad's just kind of watching, itching his fingers. Like, you guys are gross. And now he's gone back to singing Twinkle Twinkle. Is this some kind of protest? Because I took your pipe organ away. I feel like this is part of his mean nature. Like, these two are trying to have, like, a good conversation. And he decides, oh no, I'll just sing really loudly over the top of them talking so they can barely hear each other. Because if I can't find happiness in socialising with others, no one can. Isn't that right, Vlad? Yeah. Well, you three are the only ones still awake. Oh, I think Morgan's going to bed now. Okay. Ah, oh, Rory still has rage? Why? It was only a smackdown. So now it's just you two. Hey, hey, no hissing. Can't go around hissing at people just because you don't get what you want. Honestly. Well, I wonder how things will be between Vlad and Rory now, if they will just completely avoid each other. Because when I've done experiments in the past where two sims have been despised, they don't even acknowledge each other, which I think is a real shame. Like, I would rather have them, like, sneering at each other and making comments at each other. You all right there? Why are you giggling like a psycho? Rory's still raging. <laughs> okay, I quite like that. Rory just growled at Vlad, started grizzling at him. Could we have a budding friendship between Vlad and Neilani? Uh, not quite. Her and Morgan, though. Yeah, that was her doing a weird little dolphin noise. Well, it's 5am and in that entire time you guys have eaten once. Only now. Oh, I thought for a second there Rory was going to have some more food, but she's just cleaning up. So from 11am until 5am you guys have had one meal. Oh, I think Neilani's doing the next rounds of cooking. What are we having, Neilani? Grilled cheese. Great. <laughs> Well, apart from the occasional game of chess, I'm disappointed that no one has used the punch bag, the easel, or the pumpkin carving station. I know sims are a bit boring and they don't do much on their own accord anyway, but I just kind of figured if you lock sims in a home and actually give them things to do, I figured that they would at least do the activities, you know? But instead, they seem to have been programmed to just do the same activity over and over again. Oh dear, Vlad's having a grilled cheese. Vlad, I don't think this is going to end well for you, mate. I think this is going to go down the same way it went down the last time you ate food. Oh, Rory's just having a drink there from the broken tap. Oh, where are we going, Vlad? Oh, just throw up on the floor. Couldn't even make it to the bathroom. And you're still going to eat the other slice. You really haven't learned a lesson there. Really? Oh shit, Rory's enraged. And I think Vlad's throwing up. 
Yeah, he just threw up on the floor. Rory, why are you so enraged? It's not a full moon. What's going on? Everyone's running away because Rory is so enraged. And she's just kind of running around like a lunatic, growling at everyone. Oh, dear. Rory, you need to try and compose yourself a little bit, okay? You need to try and compose yourself. <laughs> You're going to start making some serious enemies. I think she's going to go destroy a chair. Rory, seriously, you're scaring everyone. Even Big Bad Vlad is cowering away. Morgan Ember seems pretty chill, though. And so does the alien. They're just like, whatever. Rory, please, will you stop scratching at everything? Are you going to stop being enraged anytime soon? I guess this is what happens when you put a werewolf in a house for 24 hours. Smashing the bathtub. Oh, you've broke... Look at what you've done now, dickhead. Oh... Everyone is terrified. Except Morgan. Morgan just wants to take a shit. That's all he wants. Well, yeah, I mean, you've definitely made yourself some enemies now, Rory. You are causing quite the commotion. I mean, to be honest, it's just nice to see something kicking off, at least. If anything, this just goes to show that uh, werewolves really are the best occult. This is what I would have liked to have seen. I would have liked to have seen my alien decide to start reading people's brains. I would have liked to have seen Vlad decide that he's going to start drinking people's plasma. Or Morgan casting spells on other sims. That's what I would like to see. Rory is hot-headed. No shit. No shit, Rory is hot-headed. You are breaking everything. Oh, okay, I think she's going back to normal now. There we go. There we go. The rage is over. Right, now. I think you owe some people an apology, Rory. Yeah? You've made quite a mess. You've upset quite a few people. So many things are broken and unusable now. Well, we are fast approaching 11am. What have we learned? We have learned that most occults well, all occults, with the exception of werewolves, don't actually use their own abilities autonomously. You have to do it for them. We also learned that Vlad is incredibly antisocial, and we've learned that there's definitely some sexual tension between spellcasters and mermaids. So, there we go. Lots of lessons learned here. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. So I will. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.